good afternoon my people good afternoon everybody depends where you are watching from um i would like to um, use this opportunity to greet our people um to welcome you to today's show today's show got to take place between me and our brother um evangelist uh, lotachuku okolia actually um our brother has a, a very powerful things to teach us please my brother check it's my it's the video it's like i'm getting my audio back <laughs> so um he has a very powerful something to teach us and i would like you to share this video invite every other person um around you to join us to participate on this issue today it is a very powerful lesson that we are going to learn today please don't miss it my brother lotachuku you are highly welcome to today's show yeah my brother thank you um god bless you and bless be france god bless be france and all her be france my brother lotachuku today's topic is all about evangelist lotachuku versus nigeria in oslo can you tell us a little bit about this what's going on yeah um i hope my voice is coming out sound and clear yes yeah your, your voice is loud and clear um good morning good afternoon good evening to the wonderful people of biafra and lovers of freedom um today i would like to speak to us something of great importance and of beneficial to mostly Biafrans in diaspora. Uh, once again, uh, I am uh, Evangelist Lotatupu Okolie, speaking to you from the land of Norway. Um, my brother Zebdi, thank you very much for inviting me into your program today. Yeah, welcome. It's our duty to keep our people informed. It is our duty as the leaders of this honorable movement of Biafra Restoration to keep our people informed if any matter arises on Biafra Restoration Movement. Today, I want to speak to us on what I am first hand victim of. So that every Biafra, mostly in diaspora, would get to understand what is currently happening to emasculate IPOB, mostly in diaspora. I've made some videos uh, about this topic, I've also tweeted about it, but I am very happy to use this wider media or this wider medium to share it again to every one of you uh before i go into sharing it with you i want to commit it into the hands of almighty god because god in heaven is watching over his children on earth irrespective of whom you are or whatsoever you get yourself involved provided you acknowledge the existence of God here on earth, the protective hand of the Lord would always be with you to guide and protect you. Yes. So, Father, I thank you, Chukua Biyama, the God of Biafrans, you are he that has preserved my life and the life of Biafrans everywhere in the world. Father, I dedicate this topic into thy evil hand and I pray let it not be of great beneficial to every listener, to every Biafran Lord in diaspora mostly, that they may do what is needed of them to stop this that is going on now. This I ask you, great Chukwa Biyama, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. 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 Um, the topic today is very, very interesting. I am a uh, a known activist that I don't hide myself anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, I love the, the, the word 
or of Nandi Kano, he says either Biafra or death. Yes, either Biafra or death to say, but it's when God permit, as a servant of God called to fight for Biafra independent freedom, I consult him before doing anything that I do, but I must tell you that I am living my life without fear. I live my life without fear of any 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 issue whatsoever that people may think or whatsoever that may come from any angle against me. So I am speaking boldly without fear of any consequences. So what I am to share with you this evening, listen carefully. I made emergency video on the 8th of April that Norwegian police we are looking after me. The video, I believe every one of you watched it. And then later I submitted myself to them because it had been held here with me. But I am not perturbed at all because I know that my God is greater, mightier to wither all storms that come my way. So as I initiated that video that day, being 8th of April, and uh, later, I discussed with Norwegian police, and I urged them to get me travel document that I may report to Oslo myself because they came to my house on that said 8th of April and broke my door in search of me. As I talked with them, they booked a flight ticket the next day being 9th of April. I flew to Oslo and handed myself over to them. They took me over to Norwegian concentration camp. That they, they, they call it a deportation camp. I am speaking without fear. So after some hours there, they called me in to meet with some, some delegates that flew from, that came from the zoo, from Nigeria, to meet with me. So I came there, I met five man delegates, led by one murderer, Abike Deberi Eriwa. Can you please name, repeat that name again, please, my brother? Abike Deberi Eriwa. This name, every Biafran should take this name seriously, should be highly conscious and know what we got to do to this name. But, uh, excuse me, my brother, um, um, let me ask you. I, to my best knowledge, I know that Nigeria and Norway doesn't have diplomatic contact. How come that Nigerian government is working with us upon there is no diplomatic relationship? Well, uh, uh, the new government uh, in place in Norway is anti uh, immigrant. So uh, they vowed to stop migration. So as I speak to you now, they have succeeded in shutting their doors against foreigners. So my own case happens to be like a thorn in their flesh and a bone that, that I mean that got hooked in the neck. So the police, I don't know, they have done whatsoever to hand me over to Nigerian DSS. They don't even hide it. They have gone through Nigerian embassies. Embassy told them categorically clear that this man, we know him. We know when he led a delegation that went to Norwegian parliament. We cannot give travel document to this man. This happened 2014, if you can remember, when I was first apprehended by the Norwegian police. Yes. Before they came again and took me over and I spent one year and six months in the prison. All that while, they have been going about trying to find a way to smuggle me into Nigeria and hand me over to DSS. But because uh, 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 why should why should Norwegian government um, um, participate in such a thing that they know in Nigeria today 
that all that mentioned Biafra are being persecuted. Some of them are being executed. And being part of an uh, um, um, international human rights uh, um, 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 promoter, why should they push people who have found their, their way into Oslo back to the hand of their persecutors? Well, uh, my beloved brother, thank you for asking such a question. It baffles me as well. I, I will be a bit spiritual here, a bit, okay, and be ahead. also physical. My coming over to the land of Norway is not on my own volition, to be very honest to you. Okay. God in heaven, I am making bold to say it, brought me here as his voice to live, to speak. He said to me, son, I will make you great, starting from the land of Norway. This is my 13 years plus, living in the land of Norway without one bit crime. I am not ready to commit one. Because I had him, Elohim, said to me, go to Norway before coming into here. Many things happened. How he saved me from prison by then before bringing me here, I won't go into details. Okay. But what I am trying to tell you is this. My case is quite different. If you can remember, in 2014, I had some issues with wider Biafra family. I wouldn't want to call them. Mm -hmm. For them, so many people threatened me. So many said they will write the authority of Norway about me because they know I don't have documents. Clifford Ulanya per se told me that to my face. And so many people that thought that I am alone. Many people that thought Lotatu Kuoko is just a, just a maybe, you know, that just what I'm about. So I don't know, perhaps um, they, uh, they have... Excuse me, my brother, don't be annoyed. The, sorry that I'm cutting you short. You just mentioned a name now. Um, what did you call that man again? Clifford Ilanya. Where do that man base and how do you come to know him? He based in, the, in um, I think, um, Texas. Yeah. Not U.S.? Yeah, then he was a, a coordinator of all coordinators of uh, Biafra uh, 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 wider family. So, and you you were yeah. one of the Biafra family by then. We we started what is happening. We initiated the Biafra movement together, every one of us. But there was a thing that came along that I said God wanted to reshape Biafra movement. Then a, a vision came to me. I am not hiding not saying anything, everything now has become normal. I was told, God said to me, say this. And I spoke that everyone turned, I wouldn't want to say, say, say what I said because we're, we're not going back. So we're not going back. So as that, word, as that word came out of my mouth, I wouldn't want to say, but my night was heavily troubled by God. He said to me, I am the one who called you. You have to do my bidding. You have to say this before I came to public and said that, that I said, God said I, uh, that he wanted to reshape, you know, this said movement as it is right now. So after that topic, after that m moment, after that word that came from me, so many became foolish. So many called and um, began to lay abuse, uh, uh, you know, abuses on me, some threatening to kill my family, some threatening to come to Norway here and uh, destroy my life. Some said they will write a Norwegian uh, government to destroy me, to hand me over to DSS, which they have submitted my name to. But one name in particular that I will call to you is Clifford Ilanya from Alonde Yemobi in Uguta, Imo State. Wow. He told me before my face, he wrote me before my face that that plans are ongoing, that he will personally write the authorities of Norway, you know, and that the plans are ongoing to hand me over to the waiting hand of the SS in Nigeria because my name has been submitted over to them. Why? Because they know that I don't have a document. Wow. So, so he, made, he said that categorically clear to me. So I didn't know what happened? Why I'm saying this in the public 
you know, it's so that people will get a picture of how we get into the place where we are today. I am not afraid. Hear me, yo. Lota to go kore. Maori hoji. Tina Komaka na the bigger than me. So what I am trying to tell you is why this storm everywhere. But God is seriously in the storm. I am not afraid. So that is why, because of the letters, because of the thing that our fellow BF friends as well has done. Some wrote to, to the government of Norway here. Some did whatsoever they can, trying to do what hurt me, to see possibility of handing me over to the waiting hand of DSS in Nigeria. Um, um, so um, now, so I'm, I'm coming, just, I will just come to conclusion, then, then we will continue the okay, conversation. Okay. So now, when that happened, as they say, they carried out their threat, many yes. of them, mostly Clifford, Ilanya, I am not afraid. So now, something happened on the 19th of April, 2014. I was in my house, suddenly heavily armed Norwegian policemen stormed my house. They came, bundled me over. Before you know what happened, I found myself in Norwegian deportation camp. But before then, Elohim, the God of Israel and Biafra, have told me that something will happen. Don't be afraid, son. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in them. I was taken. I spent one month plus there. Nigerian embassy then came, visited, and told Norwegian authorities, categorically clear before their face, we will not give this man travel document because we know him as a very strong advocate of Biafra freedom. I was released on 13th of March back to my house. But because the people that wrote the authorities here are my people, something again happened that after a while, just a little period of time, on the June 11th, Norwegian police again came to my house. And that one raised dust. I told them, why would you like to hand me over to Nigerian DSS? They said to us, they said to me, we are doing our job. So then they took me, something transpired, I went to hospital from there. They took me to Norwegian deportation camp. And there, I spent one year and six months with hard labor. But they did. God told me, son, don't be afraid. I am with you. And that was why every alternative, every avenue explored by Norwegian police and authorities, God would destroy them. I am speaking in confidence. I am not afraid of anything. So thank you. You can ask me more questions so I can put you in the know. Um, thank thank you. you. Thank you very much, my brother, that you just narrated this story. Because um, for me, as one of the supporters of the Biafran movement, and uh, be from agitation uh, and uh, also in defense of freedom and freedom of speech. I cannot see the reason why uh, a fellow, because in Igbo land we have a proverb that says, "On the day you ask a chuele, say you no go with this you go with it." Now you are not bulletproof because so good you are checking one half of the route go. I want him to read your Okay, this thing, man. When this thing happened. Did you inform Radio Biafra that you are following by then in London? When my my problem happened in Norway here, every no, I mean when Clifford Urania said such things. No, no, no. You know, I wouldn't want us to go in detail because going there is to bring out what happened before that is no longer in vogue. Mm -hmm. No, uh, what I said because uh, you are using the word not. Invoke, but you are still battling the no, the, the no, no, damages. No. Excuse me, excuse me, my brother. Um, because as an Akan that can go share about your mind, today you are still suffering the same problem they pushed you into, and now you try to water things down because 
in this world i don't need if you doesn't tell the people we are only now my baby meaning no more i got my bottom i know you know about no lame man is no crap boy you have to touch some issues that even though that don't have like a dazzle in my life maybe i got the complicated but you are facing the heat now and no. they are the cause of it no. hold on hold on hold on hold on um there are certain things in life uh only a particular set of people can carry do you understand me? yes uh there are, this thing that i'm passing through is personal to me it should, and, uh, it, it's not it's not one personal minute. it's not personal one minute one minute, one minute. you have to why you have to that, you have to call radio biafra and make them to understand that the tools that they created push you into what you are passing through today. One minute, one minute, one minute. What I'm trying to bring here, why I am painting this picture, is for Biafrans to understand it's not mainly for me. The cross I carry is a must carry cross. It's a cross that I, Dr. Tupokole, must carry. I have a history in my life. I am in the making. This is more so, God told me, son, you are passing what I call wilderness experience. I will come over it soon. God allowed those, those accumulated challenges to come. Mm -hmm. So I am not seeing anybody in the picture. Hear me. I'm not seeing anybody as somebody that is, that is doing it. During the test of Job, Job, Job did not see man. You know, in it all, Job saw the hand of God in it all. Because he knew that God controlled the earth. Lothar Tupou Kore today, I also see the hand of God in what I am passing through, but it, it just for a little while. It's about to expire. But why I am painting the picture in the, you know, in the weather range is for every Biafran to understand that the stone thrown inside the market to hit Lothar Tupou Kore failed to hit the head of Lothar Tupou Kore. Now is hitting the mother of the people that threw that stone in the market. That is the there problem. Is no there is no longer Biafran in Norway. The Biafrans you get in Norway are, are the people, I mean, based here. But they are few in number. Biafrans, Biafrans are no longer migrating here. Biafrans are most vulnerable people, which the stand of Norway today, Norway is supposed to be protecting Biafrans mostly. But because of the stone, people think, I mean, that they, that, that they are throwing it on my head. You don't know the power that is behind me. I am saying it 100%. That stone now is causing destruction in the name of Biafra and Biafran people. Every Biafran person that comes here and sought asylum with the name Biafra gets rejection instantly. The next thing, the potential camp, the next thing over to Nigeria, whether it's being handed over to DSS or whatsoever, you know your fate. But Biafra is no longer a name in Norway. Because of what? You thought that you were doing that you for the arm. Uh, uh, have you seen it, my people? Um, thank you, my brother. Um, you guys, Indibo, you guys, because of bitterness, because of somebody is not following the path you want him to follow, and you create a virus, thinking that that virus is going to harm that particular person. Because Indibo, I see, if Corona or Ashi harm me, Yamabunda or Ndamunanya. Now you have created something. Like this Clifford the Iranian being mentioned, quote by you, have right uh, with his group, have sent a letter to maybe Norway government telling them that Biafra is in, in a better position, that nobody should be able to have a refuge under Biafra name in Norway, thinking that they are going to hurt Lotachuku. Today, the the hole they dig because of Lotachuku is now swallow, is is now consuming all the whole Biafras moving to Norway to look for a better life. That is why, if you got annoyed of something, I normally tell my people, if so many things, if somebody threw a question to you, don't rush to give him answer. Relax, swallow that question, move it around your brain, so that you will be able to calm that hot spirit down, and you will get the best answer to give to that person. Have you seen it? Our brother Lotachuku now is suffering because of the organization he joined to do what? To promote his own identity. I now, have, I have something to say. Say it, my brother. The word suffering 
It's what I wouldn't want you to use. I am saying. No, I mean Nobody. the other Biafras. Nobody, anybody who came there to seek asylum on that Biafra will suffer. Because when I'm you coming. take asylum and give you rejection immediately, it's finished. I'm coming. I'm coming. Everyone has a history behind them. I am not here to talk about my history, but my family knows who I am. A dedicated child of God, I am not speaking, I am not painting it blue or black. I don't serve God with any other thing. And that is this almighty God living. His hand protects anyone that comes to him faithfully. Hear me. Wilderness experience in the life of every servant of God is a certain thing. Why God took the Israelites through the wilderness? God wanted them to pass this wilderness experience. Because if God took them from Egypt to down to Israel, they will not know, do you, do you understand me? Yeah. The suffering. Right? They, will, they will not value it. So coming up to the land of Norway, God told me, I am saying this here. Write it down. And I told the authorities here, you can't eject me because my God has not said it so. I am not painting blue nor black. I am doing only job here that God asked me to do in the ministries, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. So what I am trying to tell you is this. Every wilderness experience has an aspiring death. God has his own hurdles. His own time comes with different hurdles in life. That you will be patient to jump over those hurdles one after another. So that to quote code it. God allowed those people that wrote letter or, do, or did whatsoever against me, you know, God allowed them so, so that the height <coughs> of the hurdle that people call it will jump in my making, on my way, I mean, to that good man, to that servant that God wanted of me, you, you, you understand me, yes. to come. So I am jumping it one after another, and God said to me, son, soon, it will be over soon. So I don't, I don't want to call it soon because I have known the, I mean, the originality of this thing happening to me. I have known the reason why this thing happens to me. So I am no longer blaming any man, but I just want to paint the picture that the stone thrown inside the market, hoping to hit the head of a said person, now is hitting other people yeah, and yeah. left the person. Yeah, I mean, let, I mean, let, let, let me, let me come in, my brother. Um, you are a good believer and. Um, you know that what you are passing through is many have come through that way and find themselves in DSS hand in Nigeria. Um, our people normally think like Arewa group is existed in Nigeria today that they don't have misunderstanding within each other. They do. <clears throat> our people think that they do agree in whatever any of them says. That's why, because our people, the, the, the Biafran people, believe in Hollywood, Nollywood acting films, taking that as reality. I don't see the reason why somebody should go so harsh on his fellow brother in terms of disagreement. You have the solution to your problem. That's why it's not bothering you so much. But many, who doesn't have that opportunity? Where are they today? Are they not in Nigeria, Latacho? Yeah, um, my, my beloved, <clears throat> why I'm saying this uh, because I believe that uh, through your program, uh, there will be a far wider family can listen to that. So many people are still having animosity uh, over something that took place so many years ago. But God, God is my witness that I said what God asked me to say. And now today, no and today where is this uh, in California, right? I'm, I'm, no, I see. Uh, that, that is what I'm trying to tell you. The power that is behind the vocal is bigger than me. That uh, he, 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 look, he looks for people around and discipline them. God wanted to put us in the right shape. Do you understand me? Yes. Then he said to me, son, say this. I said, today what is happening? We are big, larger, happy, good. Do you understand me? Going on. Mm -hmm. Cost by what God asked the vocal to say. But so many people misunderstood that and took it to the other side. Clifford, the lawyer per person, said to me clearly, I know you don't have documents in Norway. I will personally contact them to send you over to Nigeria in the waiting hand of DSS. That we have, you know, traced your family. He told me that. But I was laughing at him because I know that, that, that 
The power that asked me to say what I said is bigger than me to say. So I was just laughing at him. So why I'm saying this is to help as an activist. Everybody, I believe that do your program, wider family of Biafra can get to hear what we are saying now. Yes, yes. Every yes. Biafran should come out to see what we can do to remedy what is happening here in Norway. I don't know about other Scandinavia zone. But I am telling you now that Norway is like a war zone for the name Biafra, which is not supposed to be so. It's not supposed to be it's so. It's supposed to Norway, be a safe heaven for Biafras. No, Norway is a safe heaven for people that has problems. I have lived here 13 to 14 years. I came here 2004. So they protect people. They defend people. They give people their right. But, but because that our kind decided to do otherwise, to hurt Lutati Kuokoli, which I am not able to be hurt, because I know he lives and takes care of me, Elohim. Somebody so, said something, uh, my brother, wait, let me read it out. Somebody, uh, um, you know, in this program, there will be challenges. There will, there will, there will be those people who love what you're saying. There will be people who will challenge you. But as they, they cannot be able to call in or something, and uh, they are writing in. One says, one Stephen uh, Afolu Ukwe. Stephen Afolu Ukwe says, why are you trying to tie your immigration challenges on others? If you think God is speaking with you, why are you blaming others? As an immigra immigration expert, I can tell that an I illegal immigrant can experience the sort of experience you are passing through. Let Clifford Irania be. He's not even in Europe with you. Your immigration problem should be privately dealt with. Um, the idea of blaming others is not the way to go. That's what he said. Uh, yeah, the, the, question, the question came uh, directly to me. Uh, my beloved uh, brother that wrote us, uh, thank you very much for your concern. But please, I am not trying to uh, put it on anybody. Thank God you said uh, Clifford is not here with me. I am facing, facing immigration problem to say. So I know what Biafran suffer here. My one year, six months in Norwegian prison, I met millions of Biafran. No, no, Norway charter flight to Nigeria every month. My, I met one year and six months in the prison. I sat down there with our kind, heavy duty supporters of Biafra movement. All of them were forcefully deported. Some were in chains and handcuffs. Hmm. So, so what I am telling you, brother, is not about Lord that you I'm telling you what is happening to us here. And that is why Norway go and trace the account of Biafra movement, of IPOB at initial time. Norway supports Radio Biafra London more than any other country. We, you know, you know, we pay in money always, regularly, because we had men here, there. But all of a sudden, everything just, I mean, got the window. So I am telling you for time explain because I live in Norwegian Deportation Camp for one year and six months. And I know our kind that are most vulnerable people on earth that are supposed to be protected anywhere they are, are being ejected out of this land by force down to Nigeria. So I am not bringing my immigration problem here because you cannot solve it. I am not bringing it for anyone to solve. Jesus Christ is bigger than my immigration problem. I am just here to talk to our people to, to see how they can be of help to other people that is suffering. But that people call it not suffering. I am not. My, my pain here, I enjoy it because it, make, it, it makes me stronger. It makes me know that to follow Jesus Christ has step by step. I am getting there. Soon you will hear good news from me. I am not afraid of anything to say. But it's affecting our people. And I know that our people can as well stand up, maybe send delegates, to hit, I mean, to, to, to here, to, to Norway, 
tell them, you know, clearly stop this because our people are being destroyed. Lastly, I would speak about Abikidabli in time, you know, but yeah. I would like to tell you, brother that is speaking to us, mm -hmm. I left Norway here last month, June 26th, with Biafrans loaded inside. I met some of them on that eighth or her ninth that I, I was in the prison camp of April. Flight left here from Norway last month. I will share that story probably. With mm. some of our kinds in chain and handcuffs. And the news that came to me, God, you are my witness, has it that almost all of them we are apprehended at Nigerian airport. They did not come out. Wow. You, you, will not, you will not know what we are saying until it happened to you. The news that I got from, from a person, I mean, that came out of that plane, told me that almost those men in chains did not come out. Nigerian police took them. You don't know what I'm saying. So I am crying this out that Biafrans may rise up and do something over this matter. Not about Otachi Kuokole. Don't, don't fight for me. No. Don't. Because you have not fought for me for years. Jesus is able to fight for me. But yes. I am fighting now for the sake of our fellow Biafrans that suffer here. They, they, they need to be protected. They need to be defended. But they, they are not getting it. Ladder. Rejection. Thank you. Um, uh, my brother, um, thank you for sharing such experience with the uh, uh, our fellow brothers and sisters um, all over the world. Um, I would like to switch uh, to another topic. <laughs> that no, is... Lastly, before you switch into another topic, okay, I would uh, I would like to use this platform to speak to the friends everywhere in the world because I take this fight, you know, now I can say personally because uh, the Lord allowed me to. To witness it firsthand. I would want Bia friends to know. I would say APC led government, they have their plan set out to emasculate IPOB in diaspora. Okay. To weaken the strength of Nam the Kano because they felt that supporters of Nam the Kano are Bia friends in diaspora. I sat with Abike Dabiri Erewa to say she looked like a child, 50 something year old, but she had never so suffered. So now, now I was I had a discussion with her one on one. When Norwegian police took me, you know, to to meet with her. So now after that, Abike Dabiri and team, APC uh, killing squad. I call them. Abike Dabri is senior assistant to the chief terrorist, Muhammad Buhari, on <laughs> foreign affairs. I am not afraid, brother. You don't know who, who are, nothing can happen on earth without God knowing that. Yeah. Hear me? On Abike Dabri Ariwa. I think he heard from Ikorodu in Lagos. Wow is currently senior assistant to the chief terrorist Muhammad Buhari on foreign affairs and diaspora. So now she set out by the LPC-led administration to travel nations of the world, mostly Western world. Because Abike came to Norway on the 8th of April, she spent seven days in Norway. She spent seven solid days in Norway here. So what I am speaking to you is that after Norway also, they moved into another nation. So many Biafrans here don't have documents. I mean, to prove themselves as Nigerians, because what makes one, uh, what makes you a national of any nation is by the means of identification either passport or ID card. But most Biafrans here don't have any. So almost all of them, we are packed 
in Norwegian prison here, in, in Norwegian prison camp. So Abike came and saw them, talked with them. Abike now left and wrote what they call temporal travel document for them in a special flight. All of them without means of identification. Many of them told Abike we are not Nigerians. Abike then in Arewa wrote mm -hmm. what they call temporal travel yeah, yeah. document. My brother, you know that, uh, sorry for cutting you short, the European Union gave, uh, spent billions of dollars in Nigeria because of immigration. And Nigerian economy is suffering. Don't you think they will accept this money to, when they know that all the prisoners there are the beer You know, when yeah. they... Uh, Please well, let me let me read well, out again. The the, the brother um, Stephen just wrote another thing. He said, "Let me make this clear right now. In immigration matters, you are expected to make credible and compiling case as a refugee claimant, and not as a group matter. You have to make your case before the immigration and defend it there." Immigration, that's a Norway, Immigration Norway, I believe, act on the bias of info you provided them. You have to make the case to them that you are persecuted. Put things yeah. in perspective. Yeah. Uh, my beloved brother, thank you. You are speaking like a learned uh, man as well. He um, said he's an immigration expert. Yeah, what, what I am putting it to you now is uh, Eritrea, the Norway here, are the first people that receive protection here. What do they got to provide? Nothing. They just come here, talk any story they, they want. Book, book, cock and book story. <laughs> Before you know what happened, they, they, were, they are given uh, a permanent to stay here. They don't even have crisis like Biafran that are being persecuted and killed. As I speak to you now, brother, I have my own people inside my own room that are languishing in different Nigerian prisons. You can contact me, Okoli Lotatupu. In Nigerian prison, I am speaking to you. I have their names. I mean, that works in my shoe. You know, our fellow activists, languishing, there we are millions, thousands of them. Prison Norwegian authority said to me, they wrote me a letter and said to me, one, they said that they don't believe in Nigerian newspaper. I, I believe you can hear me now, that yes. they don't believe in Nigerian newspaper. That everything written there that happened to be Afrans are over exaggerated. Hear me. That they believe that Nigerian newspaper are, 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 are you know, highest bidder. You get whatsoever that you want written for you in Nigerian newspaper. They wrote me and said this. Why? Because they have succeeded in bribing some Nigerian officials here. So now they, they said clearly that this thing that we are doing and we are saying that they don't believe it is written. So, brother, okay, even though the, the, you, the Amnesty International that published the killings of the Japanese. Thank, thank you very much. So we we pay them to, to do it. Yeah, the immigration expert that is talking about is not about you. You don't know what we are talking here. I am Lotatu Kuokoli. Go put my name on Google. You know that he's saying this. The news you will see there will start with you. We make you marvel. I am not, I am one man standing here now. I am not talking about myself. Why the danger? Why would Norwegian police again come into my hand? They told me we know who you are, but we have order from above. Do you understand me? We are doing our job. So you that is talking, that they have to see this. Google this name will call it Otachuku on your Google there. The info you will have about me, they say, we start to you. But I am trying to tell you that we have to, you know, we're here to be OG before change because it's affecting, we have a lot of things here to do for our people. So our, our people are being killed and being handed over to the Nigerian DSS. The one that happened last time, we investigated, as you are an immigration uh, expert, on the 26th of last month, flight left Norway and landed Nigeria, <laughs> Lagos Airport, on 27th morning. Investigate on that flight. Millions of our kind, or, or, or our kind there, we are apprehended by, by, by Nigerian police. I am speaking this firsthand because a person, I, I have someone inside that flight. 
do you, do you understand me? That contacted me and told me what, what is happening, or, or, or contacted, contacted me and told me what was happening to them there. And many, we are in chains. So I am not speaking to you. So, so, so uh, I, mean, I am telling you what I am, what I am supposed to hand witness to. And I am not saying this to, for you to render any help to me. Don't come. Because Jesus Christ is bigger. I mean to handle my case. It will soon be over. But I am saying this for the sake of our people here. Lastly, before you court, please hear me. Biafra Sutako Abike Deberi Arewa. I met this woman, per se. She said to me, we know you. We, we would go and, and, and make consultations about you. After consultation, what happened? Abike wrote what they call uh, uh, temporary travel document to the William police. Then to everybody on that special flight. So what I am speaking to you here now is this. It's not a matter of handing Biafrans over to Nigeria. Every Biafran that, that has no criminal case, that has no criminal record, anywhere in the world should be protected. Um, and I am saying this today. Now they can send this message to him. I will find a way also to contact him. He is the leader of Biafra movement today. Everybody should accord him respect that is due to him. He should find the authority on how to protect Biafrans in diaspora by the either means of providing passport or the means of yes passport. Because every Biafra in diaspora, when you have your passport ready, any authority that comes to you, you give it to them. They, they know the implication of it. So to keep our people safe in diaspora. But any Biafran that commits crime, you can be born dude home. Yes. Nigeria is not a safe place. I have my people in prison. And the government of the world are not doing anything concerning that. As now we are being rejected in the land of Norway, they told me that Biafra case is being over exaggerated in Nigeria. And I don't know why they, they said so. That Nigerian people are, are being bribed to write whatsoever they care. Why? Because some people somewhere have written them and told them here that, that their dear friends have no problem. Why your kind are dying? To do what? To hurt me, not to call it. But you cannot. It's hurting our people here. And and that is why Norway IPOB is no longer strong as it used to. Check in them now. Check them, the people and health affairs. Why? Because no nobody. Only throne him in Norway functions now. Only throne thrown him. One group. Functions here now. Because people to, to be at the name Biafra here in Norway is is deadly than cancer now. So mm. I am speaking this that our people to come out. It's but, our right but, to uh, agitate, uh, to be free as their people and to be known anywhere we are. It's yes. not a crime. Yes. It's not a crime um, to be a Biafra. It's not a crime to tell people that we are the most vulnerable people on earth, that we, we need to be protected anywhere we are. Um, it's um, not a crime, brother. Alatadji, so this is what I'm trying to tell you, brother. Thank you for you that. Act or, or, or not, we are France are most vulnerable people, and they need to be protected anywhere they are. This yes. is my own concern. Okay. Nothing thank but that. Thank you very much, brother. Alatadji. Um, so these are uh, go, sorry, just a minute. People should go and check Abike Daveri Arewa on Twitter. You have to write, Abike. write, write. Put it in writing her name. Yeah. So that, uh, yeah. They will okay, get the will, spelling. I will put it on on uh, on, on on writing. Then I'll, I'll send it across to you so you can publish it there. Okay. Our people should kindly make this woman to stop. ABC if she stop, move. another person will take over her position. Yes. Our people should stand out and fight. I met this woman one on one. They were five in number here. Lastly, I overheard the one that spoke that evil language on phone, saying that they are in no way to make money. God, you are my witness. I cannot lie against anybody. Uh, excuse me, my brother. Um, um, let me jump in in this one. Um, anybody who leaves Nigeria to travel to abroad is to change the, the situation of things in their family. You are not there. Nobody travel to abroad to, to count bridges and poles. Every, everybody, any citizen of any country, they call it economic economic um, um, uh, immigrants so, you know so what that to me what that to me and what I, um, I want to tell you now is this an official a person that came along with them do you, do you, do you, do you understand me i overheard 
the woman speaking in Igbo language, saying that this travel to the land of Norway is very important and special because I think she, I mean, she is having a project in Nigeria. I think she, she was speaking with her contractor that when I when I return back, I will be able to finish that program because uh, no, for, for, for the sake of the money that we would receive from Norway, that they are doing this before they change administration. Hear me. She said, let us do it quickly now on this program, on this thing that they are killing me, be afraid to do. Do you, do you, do you, do you understand me? Be, before government is changed, because it's not steady. That is why they are collecting this money, you know, writing travel documents and handing their friends over to the Nigerian authorities. This is what I have to say. We mm. have to stand out and fight this. I believe, I believe that Nigeria, no matter is our country, uh, the country... Your country. Your country. Uh, um, hey. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, for, now, not, for now, for now, for now. The Afra have not yet been actualized. Uh, sorry. I am not a Nigerian. Yes. I can let, say this anywhere, anytime. Yeah, let, let me, let me finish. Let I me finish first of all. I let, am an adult. I know that. Let me finish first of all. Nigeria is our country at the moment, but we are the Afra by identity. Your country, brother. Um, right. I don't want to say that. Any, say, I believe, oh, wait, wait, my brother. I believe that every, every document issued out in any foreign embassy of Nigeria is being accounted for in in Nigeria. They know about everything. They do nothing on their own power. Any person that is being deported, they file. You know, Nigeria works like an advanced world also. You know, they, they, they send their documents to Nigeria to get approval and everything before they will be able to proceed in handing over. But you may tell me that Norwegian government is lobbying for them to speed the process of all those documents. But yeah, in, in other yeah. side, let, 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 me, let, me, let me come in, please. Let me just say something. In other side, every country in Europe has their own system. You understand? And those systems, you know, me, I pass through what you just passed through. You know what you are passing through now. All of us living in the Western world was seek asylum with one name or the other. I even paid up to, I think, uh, 2,000 euro as penalty because okay. of forged forge identity and, and wrong country. Um, let's tell ourselves the truth, my brother. Like what this our brother is saying, we that have put in our leg into this shoe knows that, um, look at, but we are, it baffles me the most is that no way, uh, for, for my own place of understanding, doesn't have any diplomatic um, um, uh, relationship with Nigeria. Why should Nigeria be, why should they have access to Nigerian deportation documents? I, that, that, I that's my question. That. that means corruption. I believe, because I believe we have, uh, we have uh, inter intellectuals uh, uh, listening to what we are saying now. We have people that, that can reason. Currently, I'm just saying this because I fear no one, to be very honest to you. An organization in Norway here contacted me. Their, their name is called NOAS, Norwegian Organization for, for Asylum yes. Seeker. They follow my case. They googled my person. They know who I am. So now they are representing me. But the authorities of the, the route, because before they can accept any matter, is very, very real. But they, they took over my, my case. They, they wrote the authorities here and told them about me, the, the authority wrote back. Because now they, they, we are thinking of having a deal. Do you, do you understand me? So as, after this happened, the last one, the police came to my house. But before they came, I don't know, miraculously, God, God, my God took me away. They, 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 all, all the effort failed. So the, the, the organization called me and told me clearly that because of this thing that Norwegian police are, are doing, that they bypass Nigerian embassy. Hear me. Now, now because Abike Daveri and the money paid her, paid to her and her team, Abike used her power. The, the, the Nova's official called me and told me clearly that now that Norwegian authorities are no longer having link, connection, contact with Nigerian embassy in, in Stockholm of, over this matter. Do you understand me? Be, mm -hmm. be, because they bypassed them. Abike Davari came and thought it wise that he can handle it. 
Do you understand me? So now, now she collected her, her own part of the tear of the money and did it with is, her is, interest. Is, is, is her power. My brother, what you are saying is direct acquisition. I am, I am do you have any proof? Do you have any proof? I am yeah. hearing you, but people are hearing too, I right? am, like I like am, somebody am, just am, wait, 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 wait. Somebody just wrote now, the same brother Stephen. He got the identity of the lady you are talking about. Abike Dabiri is her name. Yeah. You know, yes, she doesn't even have any power to fake such a thing that you are claiming. This our brother just he, he you said that they should go go. You said that they should research, yeah. you know. He just brought out yeah. the full information of this woman now. One and minute. and One minute, one okay. minute, let, let me read let me read what he just said. He said you need a lot of wisdom and less of emotion to press your case. Your case is personal and must be defended by by you before the countries. Wherever you find yourself, Abike Dabare does not have such reach to affect you in other jurisdictions. Until Biafra yeah. is fully restored, you remain a Nigerian. Countries make their law and enforce it based on their internal rules and regulations. God bless you, my brother. Thank you for that information. Yeah. So, yeah. if you if you watch what he just uh, uh, wrote, yeah. you know that it he, makes sense. It's, it's making sense. Yes. yes. Uh, you can't uh, stand here. I am not here to argue. I am here to, to say the fact to my people. You say the fact, but people I, will still put money. Start, you are lying. I, I, <laughs> I, sat, I, sat, I sat with Abike Dabari one on one. Mm -hmm. And the last thing I can do here is to lie to you. An organization that called me and told me that Norwegian police is having a problem with Nigerian embassy in Stockholm. I am, I, how can? It doesn't concern me. They told me that. So what, what I am saying, it may seem impossible to you, but Abike Dabari told me before my face, what of if I guarantee you safe passage in, 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 you know, in a Nigerian airport? Abike told me this. I told Abike categorically clear that you have to bring out Biafran, IPOB members, detained in Nigerian prison that, that, that are in different places before saying this to me. I don't want to get angry here. Because you don't need I am, to. You I, don't am, need to. Hear me. I am I am telling you, you know, you know, the person I spoke with one on one, yes. I don't know I don't know uh, I don't know the agent or anywhere else that is saying this or speaking those things. I think that very she was sent here by APC. I am saying this open. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you are now, me, you are now accusing the, the political party in yes, Nigeria. Brother, the attack is on. The attack is on until you get to you. Then you know that what we are saying is real. Abike told me, what of if I guarantee you safe passage, you know, without you being taught in Nigerian airport? She told me this. I told her open. I gave her the names of my people detained in Nigerian prison. Bring out Brad Shimezia, Ichimwa. Bring out, you know, you know, uh, you can want and go, you know, bring out all our men held in different Nigerian prisons. They, 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 they were deported from nowhere. These people you are mentioning. I can, I can, I, I can also. No, I just asked. Do they, uh, we are they deported from nowhere? No, okay. we are giving out the information, my brother. These okay. people you okay. just mentioned that are still in prison. We are they deported from Norway because of Biafra and they were arrested in Nigeria. Because this is also a case that you can use to argue before the court in Norway that the yeah, people you uh, have already deported, me, have you asked yeah, your embassy to you, investigate uh, the, the condition of those people? Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I, am, I am saying my discussion with Abike Debere on how she wanted to guarantee me safe, safe passage. passage in yeah. Yeah, then, then I, I told her because she acknowledges who I am. Do you, do you understand me? Mm -hmm. so, so she was saying that before the Norwegian public there did this. Then I told her, first, you have to set our men that is being held by Nigerian terror states now in different prisons free before now bringing another activist to join them. I will give you the names of Biafran deported from Norway that are being held in different prisons here. They are there in, in Nigeria. Authorities here have the names. So and I have told them, you can verify this, investigate them. Etches on Do you understand me? And, 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 and go. They, they, they are there. Uh, so so I, I have their names. It, it's, it's happening here. 
is also happening down in Nigeria there. But I, I what what I am I am trying to clear now is this. Because of the person saying Abike has no right to do this. You are not you are speaking like a foreigner. In Nigeria, any, any person in authority can do whatsoever if you pay the person to have something. Um, if, if, if you don't know, if you don't know Nigeria as a country, again, means you don't know anything. Abike, uh, uh, that uh, wait, wait, wait. Apart, of a, apart of Abike, because what you just said now is bringing a new idea to me. If uh, uh, maybe no way is now putting themselves in four... In, Forefront to help Nigeria to persecute the Biafrans living in their country. That is one that, of our people. That, that may be the next accusation that we may lay before the European Union. And I will ask my people, whoever that is listening, go to your Facebook account, type European Union Parliament. You will see the room for you to write to them. The topic you have to write that they should investigate no way. No way is now supporting Nigeria, helping Nigeria to persecute the Biafrans living in their country. This, this place, this, this European country is, a, is an open place because the time, if you can remember, military man draw a, a disfigured man down from that uh, wheelchair because he put on a, a rotty camouflage cloth. I am the one that forwarded that video to European Union and other European organizations, after two, three days, Nigerian army start begging and pleading and start helping the family, whatever. These guys do something on through diplomatic channel. As you just give this information out, how many people are online are watching this video? Or those that will watch later, just go to your Facebook account, accuse Norway, Norway government that they are now the uh, extended hand of Nigeria government against their France in their country. God bless you as you do that. Continue, my brother. Last, lastly, uh, you know, I have contacted a chick, uh, and those him, uh, our uh, European uh, uh, rep now, um, the head of the directorate of the Biafra movement uh, in the diaspora. Though he has been uh, of a great helping hand also in this matter. And I would uh, try to find a platform to speak with uh, Uchime for as well. This is no longer a laughable matter. It's not a uh, personal issue. Uh, it's, it's very serious. I spent one year and six months in Norwegian prison, so I know what I'm telling you. Norwegian deportation camp. I know my people, my people, our people, the most vulnerable people being handed over down in there to Nigerian authorities. Here, by fire, by force. So my chains and handcuffs. I am not saying this, you know, out of fear. I don't fear anybody. Fear me. But I, I am saying this, that we are friends may buckle up. I know that this is a prestige uh, uh, battle. This is a battle to protect our race. This is a, a battle to make our voices heard. Norway protects vulnerable people. Norway is a nice country. Norway is homely. I don't know next to what to use, but I, I don't know what transpires or what went wrong or what goes wrong. I don't know the language to use. I mean, that makes them to be too hostile well, on well, this well, well, one minute. Our brother Stephen Please. just write something. Uh, my brother Stephen, um, using the word um, um, disposal um, is a little bit um, 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 abnormal to address the Biafran people. I'm a Biafran, Lothar Chuku is a Biafran, and many who are interested in this case are Biafrans, and the listeners are Biafrans. Using the word disposal, are you telling us now that Nigerians are now rubbish, or the Biafrans are now rubbish, being dumped, or that no way should not be the, 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 the dustbin where the Biafrans should be dumped? Point of uh, correction, don't use such you. a word. Please uh, address our people with full respect. No way is making their businesses in Nigeria. They know what my. they are protecting. They know what they are doing to please Nigeria. But using the Biafran my. people to please Nigeria government should be a taboo. My host, uh, Zebde.
Yes. And maybe uh, you know somebody can uh, can uh, can parade himself as a Biafran without being a uh, uh, full-blooded Biafran person. I don't know about the Steve you were talking about, but he may he may be I mean be you know hiding his identity, his proper identity. So I'll be very honest to you. Uh, we are online, so and anybody can get access to us and, and talk whatsoever that you want. But the information that you call is passing out through here is nothing but through information. Be a friends to stop coming to Norway. This is what I am saying now. Until when we get things sorted out here, when things get normal, be a friends can as well come. Anybody coming here right now is entering into your early grave. I am saying this because what, what, the land what, 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 what you are just saying, my brother, I'm upset because of this thing that our brother just wrote now. Because uh, in German here, I know all the Igbos that came to German now and seek asylum. All of them seek asylum with Biafra. And German government is not tormenting any one of them. Because they have their source in Nigeria and they know. Even they send in their press. German is the only country in the whole Europe that sent in their DWU press that went and interviewed Nam de Carlo and see what the police and military are doing to the Biafra people. On the ground in Nigeria. That's why I like German because German says trust is good, but control is more better. You may tell us all your stories, but we will go there and verify on our own. But what this our brother is saying, and not only from him, I have people in Norway. Let me be open now, and they are saying it clearly. Norway is seeing himself and using himself as a long hand of Nigerian government. To torment the Biafras in their territory. Mm -hmm. That nobody mm -hmm. will mention that name Biafra and they will accommodate him. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow they will come back like the war they surrounding to the Jewish state today to try to have a cooperation with them while you cooperated with Hitler to torment them and kill their people. When you were supporting the killing of the Jews, you did not know that tomorrow they will be free and be one of the greatest country on the planet. And so shall it be on the Biafras. Today is your day to torment the Biafra. But tomorrow, you will go on your knees and plead for cooperation. I beg, I, I plead to God for the people who will be around that time to grant such a thing to you. But history never go away because this video, people will keep on watching it and it will remain. That's all the message if I have, my people. If I'm permitted to say my last word before we can switch into another topic. Okay, my brother. Please. The topic, I, the, my last uh, uh, word to the dear friends is this. I am still your beloved brother, Evangelist. IP of your family in Norway, I started it single-handedly. I love my people more than, more than anybody can love them. I care for my people more than anybody can care for them. I have no hidden agenda in you. And I came to the land of Norway as a servant of Jehovah. I am not meddling words or mixing words to say this. Currently, the land of Norway is too hostile to be friends. I met a lot of people during my time in Norwegian prison for one year and six months. And it's still going on now. They wrote me a letter and told me that they don't believe in the young people and what is happening to be friends because those things we are over exaggerated. So what I am saying there, I know we can remedy it. Norway is a very nice country. There are people who are very good. I will write I to them and the I, Union too. I have, I have nothing against Norwegian uh, mm. people. They are loving people. Most, you know, they, they, the most kind people you can get in the world are the Norwegians. But this government now, I don't know whether police are, are their tools. I mean, I don't know what, what is going no, on. Police is doing his job. You give him so order, please, he go and force the law, period. Please. Please, my people, stay away from Biarin Biafra in Norway. Stay away, run away. Come in here, Biarin Biafra as a, as, as a name, as a nationality here. It's death on arrival. Nothing comes to you. But I am pleading to Chike Dozim, the head of Biafra Directory, pleading to Uche Mefo, deputy leader of the people of Biafra, to see what they can. So to remedy the situation here, I believe that when our people come here, you know, send their emissaries, you know, to meet uh, the authorities here, 
and discuss this matter one on one, they will change. Norwegians are very good. They they they, they love to see, you know, people that 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 there's some people are standing, I mean, talking about this said people. Lastly, Lotajuko Kolia is not begging for hell. Hear me, for me. No. My God is able to wither my storm. I am not afraid. Jesus Christ died for me. I live in him. He decides what happened to me. I am here by him. And nobody can eject me out of this place until my God say otherwise. But I am saying this for the sake of Biafrans generally, that we may have no way back, that we may have our lives back here, you know, become protected no more like other people that have problems under the sun. Biafrans, we can do this. We can rise up and make our stand here once again. Thank you. This is what I have to tell you. I am still your beloved brother, Evangelist Lotachukwokoli speaking from the land of Norway. Thank you, and God bless you. My brother, Lotachuku Tukugoziegi, for giving out this information on what's going on in Norway. And now, my people, what I want to switch over and ask uh, my brother, Lotachuku, some other questions to know his stand and some of the things that is rumored in Nigeria and in Biafra land. <clears throat> my brother, Lotachuku, from which state are you from? I am from Delta. Okay. Now, in Nigeria, they want to do election. And our people and the leader, the supreme leader says, if you don't give us a date, there will be no election. Do you support that they should not participate in election? You know, um, <clears throat> I, would, I would say clearly, every, every nation, every tongue, every tribe has a leader. I believe that uh, currently uh, Biafra has got a leader. Uh, Nande Kano is in the position he is today by God. I believe that everyone should accord him due respect. Everyone should speak with one voice. I am in direct contact with Mosul leadership, which in uh, Madu, always, every day. So, uh, you know, every one of us now is sounding one voice you know, to the leader of Biafra people, Nande Kano. So anything that Nande Kano says to our general public, I am advising everybody to adhere to that. We have been voting in Nigeria ever since Nigeria secured her independence from the colonial masters. But it has not done us any good. Graduates are still living without jobs. Our people are still dying. Currently, you know, uh, no job. People can no longer feed. That thing that our people have been crying for, for, for decades, is still happening. So what is the need of, I mean, of continuous, you know, coming out to vote? It does us no good. So I am supporting them and the Kano and the, the, I mean, our movement, the leadership you know, 100% to by court election in Biafra land at large to make our anger, to start from there, making the, I mean, the, the world know truly that we are not part of this unholy union anymore. So I am supporting it 100%. Biafra should by court that election and be obedient to Mazen and the Karen, to that which comes out of him. Thank you. Um, do you don't you think that if Nigeria gives us date for referendum and conduct the referendum, as Nigeria, you know, as two of us understand, as one one man says that he was he was in a flight going to United States. There was a, a, a Western man, the uh, Asian and the European. All of them we are talking about their latest technology. The man in the United States says, if election is being conducted in the U.S., in a matter of a day or two, the result will appear. That is how far they have gone. And the man in Europe says, their own takes us. And Japanese man made us to understand. They have the latest technology. 
among all the western wise countries that as people are voting in the election appears immediately what did the nigerian say? he says <laughs> nigeria you guys are talking rubbish because our own technology is the highest technology on planet before election he was <laughs> <laughs> so, so don't you think if they give you dates of referendum before you conduct the referendum the results never was as the latest and fastest technology of planet <laughs> um, I don't know if you want my opinion on that um, please what I would like to say there is that, uh, you know, as Sinan the Khan normally say, that uh, our people will bring civilization to Africa to say, the world knows who we are. Um, during this 1967 to 1970 of this war of aggression by the world against my people, our people invented so many technologies that we used to fight that war during that short period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, Nigeria is a killer. That nation, that name alone, kills every dream, has no invention. So uh, the only alternative for us to become what God put in us to be, to feed our people properly, to make our voices heard, and to be represented in the world, is to vent our anger and see the possibility of carving out Biafra out of Nigeria so we can live on our own. Um, the initiation of uh, having a referendum in Biafra, our people are not daft. Our people are not uh, dumb or dummy to say. We are not uh, stooge. You know, the people at the helm of affairs now, under the leadership of Nandikano, I believe are intellectuals. You know, men, uh, well-read men, you know, men that knows uh, how things uh, should be done or how things work on earth. So if it should be uh, a United Nations uh, supervised uh, uh, referendum, our people should be awake. You know, all hands must be on deck. Everybody, you know, uh, our intellectuals and men of, uh, of importance, you know, would be there and monitor how things should be run. Not allowing Nigerian uh, corrupt state, Nigeria... Uh, uh, um, nation to conduct the referendum, uh, you know, as per se. Because anything done in Nigeria is nothing but fake. I am saying, or anything done by Nigerian nation, by Nigerian government, is nothing but a concluded uh, fraud. So I, I am not in support of allowing any referendum that will not be supervised by United Nations foreign observers, you know, that will be who, that will be on the ground, you know, maybe for for longer period of time to study, you know, to study the atmosphere and the sphere before the election, you know, come uh, before the, the referendum comes up. As you just uh, mentioned, uh, international observers and international community, you know that ex Prime Minister of Britain just visited Nigeria. Can you please tell us what you think that is his mission? To I, was, uh, I was talking with somebody two days ago, a French <laughs> citizen, a dear friend, but a French citizen. The person was telling me about the Chirac, the former president of uh, France, and uh, he's no longer, he's like a vegetable now. Uh, he's no longer go out. Um, that uh, he's always being guided by security uh, uh, agents around him. I asked him why. He said that before the man retire, before he, you know, his tenure as president of, of uh, France, uh, you know, expires, that the man reconciled with Africans. So many, uh, because we were saying this because of this uh, this ceremony today. Yeah. So we are having, I think, uh, Bastia, yeah. something like that. Yes. So, we have, so the, the, the guy told me that Chirac happened to be the best, uh, one of the best uh, president that uh, French, uh, France has ever had. So I asked him how. He said that this man is the only person that recognizes the existence of Africa, that reconciled the uh, soldiers, Africans, you know, that died 
during the time that a friend was fighting with the Hitler, I, I, I mean, with the, uh, uh, Germany. You know something? Mean? That mm -hmm. after that said war, Africans that died, we are neglected. Then we are dumped somewhere. But they have their names, you know, written somewhere, registered in their secret archive. But this man, Chirik, came up and retraced that archive and brought those names out and traced their families and recognized them one after another and they gave, gave their families, children unborn, French nationality, you know, with the, I mean, with, 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 with incentives attached to it. Then, the man said something again. He said to French people, that you people have to recognize the existence of Africa and accord them the respect that is due for them or, or to them. Because their livelihood of French economy today is, the man said openly, that it, that it came from, or comes from Africa. That the, the return, the money that French people or French government made from Africa sustains uh, the livelihood of French economy tomorrow. So uh, today and tomorrow. So the, the man said that some French political heavyweights that we are embittered, that we are angry with him. So he mean as 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 he retired or as his term of finishes, something happened. I wouldn't want to say accusations. But, uh, accusations uh, coming, yeah. Yeah, he's now living without remembering things. Okay. Uh, now, so that that is why you, you you cannot see him, you know, uh granting interview. So you know so many places. That's why you don't hear about him anymore. So now British people or their ex prime minister that visited Nigeria last time. Britain knows what they are doing. Tony Blair. They are there, yeah, he, he was there just to protect the British interest because uh, the money, the money that is keeping British nation today is Biafra money. So so the, how how would they want, you, you, you know, uh, to call it a quit? So so they, they are equally protecting their investment in, in, in Nigeria there because they are in charge of Nigerian oil. Are, are, you know, and uh, um, I think Biafra oil and so many things that that sustain British. Okay, so I have another question. Um, I have another question. How do you see the alliance that Europe has are trying to form with the Igbos? Should it be trusted, or should we see it as what they did? Well, uh, I have been with Nam Dukano. Nam is a very wise and uh, educated man. Be yourself. Leave it now. Be just what minute, you think. One minute. One minute. Why I'm saying it? Because uh, there are certain places I cannot go now. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, the person uh, that is at the helm of affairs currently, that is on the limelight, is in the mm -hmm. That's why when it comes to a matter of Biafra, yeah. well, that's what it's not uh, campaigning to be known. I, mean, I, I know. I am campaigning to have support, you know, you know of, of people to the Kano whom we know today as the leader of overall Biafra movement. So what I'm trying to say is forming an alliance with uh, Yoruba. Not the, they are trying to stretch their hand that they want that an I'm, alliance. That's what, that what I'm telling you. It's laughable. Why I say that it's laughable is uh, uh, history should not repeat itself again. We have nothing in common to do with Yoruba. So I am not preaching hate. You hear me? But I, I am speaking from statistics of what has happened in the past. <laughs> Yorubas are not to be trusted. And as I said earlier, one, during one of my videos, that uh, Osi, Banjo, Osi Banjo, by the revelation I saw, the Lord opened my eyes, I saw Osi Banjo and Yoruba elites, you know, uh, trying to see whatsoever they can, you know, to the window, the light of Biafra movement. So this also that is happening now may be in tune or in connection with that that I said earlier in one of my videos. So our people should not, should not, you know, form any alliance with them or give any listening ear to them. They are trying only to come into us and sabotage what we are doing. Yoruba should not be trusted. They should form their own republic, Oduduwa Republic. They should be mindful of that and allow our people 
to go the way that is written of us. This is what I am saying. Forming an alliance with them is of no relevance to me. Th th thank you. Thank you. And um, let me use this opportunity to inform our people. I receive a lot of calls from Nigeria. Our Biafran people, IPOB family members from River State, Calabar, and um, Akwai Bomb, even though other parts of rivers. They try to inform me that I should um, send a, a message to IPOB, maybe in London, or to whomever it may consign that they should send in people that will be teaching the Calabar people, the Aqua Ibums, the need for them to accept Biafra. That most of them are afraid. And he said that Hawasa is working tooth and nail with their agent in those areas. That what they are not seeing is IPOB families, agents working in teaching, enlightening the common man on the street, that Biafra is not there to consume them as Hawasa is feeding them, that Biafra, look at the benefit, look at the benefit, look at the benefit. That is the call I received. And maybe the person that called me, it may be even listening into this uh, discussion now. So um, I have another thing that I want to ask you, my brother. Like the people in river states that normally say they are not Biafra's. Do you have any message for them? My brother, you know, um, when, when someone plants in his or her farm, by time, the seed planted will start to grow. And during that period of, of, of time, some bad, you know, uh, uh, trees, or to say, will as well sprout out, mm -hmm. come up. You don't kill them. You will wait, you know, till a set time before you can separate the wheat from the corn or, or you know, the, the, the bad ones and the good ones. I am speaking in parable over this matter mm -hmm. because uh, as you manage the noun to decode to say the man that called himself a Stephen or Steve, because I overheard you a bit agitated, I mean, by hearing him saying something bad against this novel cause. The, the, that is the same way that so many things is coming up. People calling you from different zones of Biafra land, saying that our people should do more to sensitize our people in our quiet bomb, all those areas, to make them to know the need of, be, of becoming, you know, who they are already. It doesn't make sense to me. Because, uh, the second in command of Ojuku was uh, uh, from uh, Akwebo. And last time, BBC interviewed him. Those, those are the men that matter. BBC interviewed him. If you have not listened to it, you can just uh, Google it and uh, hear what he said. It's not a matter of uh, who are the friends. Uh, so we know who we are. I am from Delta State. Fighting seriously here. We know who we are. Truly, but few among our people can still come out and say, but the same majority carry the vote. Like, uh, um, like um, your brother, your brother, the footballer, uh, Sunday, he said, that came to London and addressed himself, Sunday, whatever, only said that uh, the evils that are here should not be happy, <laughs> that he's not evil. <laughs> what, would you have any message for him? <laughs> All those, we should not, uh, we should not uh, worry ourselves over little matters. You know, uh, they, they, they call it divide and rule. Uh, to divide is very easy, but to join is very difficult. This thing has happened by time to us in particular. Uh, the Honorable Governor of River State said something some time ago that, uh, that uh, this in Nandekan is saying that it's not in support of that. Then Nandekan responded back and said, let there be vote now to see what the public will say. I am putting it to you that the uh, Nigerian government and the world, they have done us bad by time. 
So most of our people, over eighty percent of our people, know truly who they are. But do you or think? Do you think that the problem that we are facing in Biafra land is being caused only from the federal government? What of what about our own regional politicians? From governorship see, down. See, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, governorship down. Those men are stupid. They are, they are boy boy men planted in there by uh, Fulani oligarchies. You know, so 100% that if you don't stand with them, you cannot be there. So ma almost many of them took oath be 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 before ascending that throne. Do you, you, you understand? So you don't expect them, you know, to not do the bidding of the people that put them in there. So what, what I am saying, the masses know who they are. And this thing took time. You know, so we have to as well take time now, you know, to remedy it. I am a Delta speaking right now to you, standing, fighting for my people, because we know our roots. We know who we are. Forget whatsoever the government I mean, wrote in their curriculum or whatsoever. Do you, do you understand me? But we know truly who we are. This thing took time, you know, you know, you know, you know, to you know to fabricate such stupid news, you know, to our people. But we know our originality. We know who we are truly. So you, you know, you, you know your identity. You know your origin. But the, now the new history that is being told in River State today is that River State people are originated from one says Bini, the other one says Yoruba, and the River State people are buying it. That they are not my, even connected my, to the Igbos. My brother, before Biafra should, before before Biafra could emerge as a nation, we will fight so many battles. It has not started. This thing that is happening now is just a somebody just read something. Somebody write something. So sorry, sorry, I'm putting you short. Let me read it out for you. He said, "The son of Ephion, father Ephion." comment that Igbos make the agitation personal, which means they want attention. Thank you. Is it not what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, no, that that's what I'm telling you. Our 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 people, I mean so said Igbos, should as well, you know, uh come up and stop uh, dominating or being uh, you know that we because there was a time this looks as if is you know it was only Igbo thing. Did you understand me? But I am, I am telling you, in the minds of our people in general, everyone knows where they belong. Over 80% of my people in the river right area knows truly their true identity. The Biafra name to say was brought to light by one Opingo from Ejo. Do you understand me? So, okay. so, so everyone knows. But, but what I am trying to tell you is this. To divide is easy. To build a house is difficult. But to bring it down, you can bring it down today. So this took time to divide us, to separate us. I mean, they did us harm. That need to take time to heal. And besides, Biafra that we are talking about is supposed to be the kingdom of God on earth. Wow. A people, a people, a people that has no Muslim, I mean to say, just to, to, to put this. People that love God so much. So what, what what I am trying to tell you, to rebuild, to repair that kingdom would be difficult. Um, there there are, is something, there, there are, is one book that I read uh, written in Britain. Um, the British people try to explain why they handed the power over to, not, over, over to the Northerners, the Muslims. I guess the the the, uh, uh, the eastern region. They say that when they came to Nigeria, they met the Northerners. That the Northerners are very lazy, but they are very loyal. Did you get that word? He said they are lazy, but they are very loyal. And they came across to Yorubas. He said that the Yorubas are well educated, but very cunning and too tribalistic. When they came to the eastern region, they are too industrious, educate, they are well educated too, but they are very, very proud people. Don't you think that this proudness is, is 
hurting everything that the Igbos are doing all over. I, I told you earlier that uh, sometimes I will be spiritual and the physical one. <laughs> yes. And I want to refer you now to what will later come to light. We are not an ordinary people on earth. The evil race, it said. If there is God, I am just putting it out because I don't know who is listening. <laughs> that, that God must have a people. Yes. I, I am speaking to you truly that this great and mighty king that live forever and ever chooses our people as his own people. We, we are living under cause. Wow. Why, I, why I'm saying this? I'm speaking the lot of revelation. I wouldn't want to just go be too religious. But let, me, let, me, let me reject it. We are not living under that cause, my people. Oh, hear me, hear me. The, yes. the, the cause I am saying about it is we are not born to serve any other God than Jehovah, mighty king. Our people... Better, better. You both brought this religion that you're mentioning. Hear me. Hear me. If you trace the origin of that, you know your lineage. <laughs> our people came. Our people came to and settled in that area and threw away the mighty God and embraced idol worshipping. What is idol they worshiping? Forgot, hear me. They forgot their God and began to worship the gods made by hand. God made and by hand. I will challenge yeah, you by your word. You said, I'm God, you with your wait, you wait, me so that I can not make mistake. I saw that, you know, because of this argument, people love to watch our show. <laughs> people like to watch our show. If they watch it, if I put it there, I'll put it, they will start fighting me that I should allow you to finish. Um, during the time of our forefathers, it made us understand that there are crimes that people cannot commit by that time. When they are still respecting the gods of their forefathers. Like brothers sleeping with the brother's wife and uh, sleeping with sisters and uh, stealing his brother something. Because there are the way say me and Jelamadio Hanko that strikes whoever that trespass. But today, homosexualism, lesbianism, Oshi, people sleeping with their senior brother's wife and junior brother's wife, stealing their wives and property, everything. And uh, they are going free. But if it is that time that our forefathers are still alive, it's not okay. So telling us that our people are worshipping idol, I don't know. I don't, I don't buy that one, that idea. I don't buy um, that one. My brother, um... People can go in the way of their choice. In the book of Proverbs, the Bible, the Word of God says that there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. But it said that the end of it is nothing but destruction. That our people embraced the gods they met in the land and began to worship them. They were taking with themselves that they were doing something right before their eyes. But it was hurting. They were thinking that our money or thunder God, you know, can come immediately, you know, when this happened and strike some people dead and kill these people dead. Destruction, you know, they embrace destruction in these guys. What I am preaching to you now is the love of this great and awesome God that choose our people to be his own people. But our ancestors neglected him and embraced the idol worshiping, the God of the land that they met. My brother. See, one minute. As a result of that, as I said earlier, I want to clear the air, why I said our people were on the course. I am not uh, hiding or uh, meddling words in what I'm saying. Because of that act, because of that singular act, the Lord became angry and gave them up. That's what the Bible calls reprobate mind. A place, a time that you will just be forgotten by God, just do whatsoever. 
So my people found themselves in that area. Why? Because they neglected their chi. They neglected the chi kekerowa, chi jindo. Then the bills you never. I will say, I know what it been happen or unfair. Then God turned his back at us. My brother, and please, then, point then, of correction. Uh, point of correction. Uh, let, let, let me finish. You will come in. This thing you are trying to feed me now, that I, you want me to open my both hand and collect it. Those yeah. people that brought this religion that made, it, made you to understand that this is real life lies are the one that turn back and destroy our heritage and our people. They are the one that brought our people into slavery. They are the one that sell our people. Upon they know the truth of this God. And where is their God, this God that they gave to you, when they tormented my people for decades, for years, millions of years, selling my people to slavery, that up to today, the people of the United States could not be able to trace their village back to Africa. They know that they are Africans. But my people, we have the covenant of God and our all for that whoever, even tomorrow, no pastor have ever tried to touch or fall of any community. The ghost of the land will strike him down. Because it may be in your own territory, they do whatever. In where I came from, my brother, they have the original. My forefathers worship Chi Dendo. They call it Chi. It's, they didn't call it Oshishi. Uh, uh, and if you go to the Old Testament, all the whole doctrine today, everybody is rushing to the New Testament because they don't want to promote the religion of Africans. If you go to Old Testament, whatever you find there is what my people does. They do sacrifice. And the gods of the land they saved my people for them to be alive till the white man came. Because of the love that was in their religion, that's why they opened their heart to accept the white man. You said that they accept destruction and whatever because of Amadioha. Amadioha is there. As in Amadioha, if you go contrary to the law of the land, then you and the gods of the land will be music and music. My brother, yes. um, I wouldn't want to go deeper into what we're saying, but I just want to take the periphery, you know, just, uh, you know, a talk. Mm -hmm. um, I am a man that loves power. I, every man on earth loves power. But I am living to attest to you or to testify to you now that the awesome God I am talking that is not a wooden symbol. Lotachu Pukoli have had an encounter with him times without number. And I am speaking as a living witness to what I am telling you now. This great God is alive everywhere. And he chooses his own people. He chose me and you as his own people. Then our people neglected him when they arrived in our place. What I am trying to tell you now is this. Amadio Hago, Shongo Go. Our people neglected him. Oyibo, when did Oyibo brought this thing that you are talking now? This book you are Oyibo, reading. Oyibo, who are, that is the way God. My brother, is, you the, know. is the colonial master yeah, that brought in okay. this religion to okay, our let people? Me, how can let, you, me, okay, let, me, let me ask you now. How can, let how, me, how, how can my great grandfather know what you are reading there now? That this let religion me, came during me, the time of my father or, or whatever. That you try trying to read, you read. And twist your English to brainwash my brain, it will never let me, work. Because I know the God that let, let, let me read this one now, brother. God. Please. Um, the undying word of God, unfailing word of God, the word that have been tested, you know, from time immemorial is still alive. If you choose to believe the Old Testament written in the archives of the world. You know, has been there for quite a long time. So what I am, I am saying, in essence, is this: Hear me. God is so many potent, so many science, so many presence. He is everywhere. He knows time more than me and you do. That our people decide dead otherwise does not mean that God has forgotten them. And the word of God has been written 
long time. I'm not talking about the white people that brought it back to us. But at that set time, God decided again, I mean, to make our people know the truth. Then this truth came to us. Some came on by crook, bringing the, I mean, the, the Bible with them, the word of God. Yes. But that we are some original. See, when a thing is created original, you have fake. Many that came bringing the gospel to us, we are fake. But that we are original, sent by God among them. Let me, let me, other let, people, let me you know, just, other people complimented and, 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 and them to steal, to thief from people. Let but me, that does not let, make the example of God not original. Let, let me tell you something. There is a proverb that my father normally tells me when I'm still young. He said that whatever that is sweeter than man on top of a woman is coming from your body. Whatever miracle, whatever you are doing today is the gene that is in you that you inherited from your forefathers. Take it or you leave it. I have been doing miracles, doing things. My wife is so evil. She, would, she, she stands here she will tell you this fucking truth. I thought that whatever I'm doing is from that book. But later, when I started researching, when I went to school, I know the, the origin of what you are reading. That is why white people doesn't read that book. It was made for you and was exported to all colonial countries. My brother, everything that you have in you, Whatever you are doing, anything that is happening within your territory is the vapor that is coming out from your gene inside you that God chineke na na ni ha na efe no gidi ime or who had that book in a data place. Okay, this book in Ago now do you know that they are talking about the Israelites about the Jewish state of today. But to today, when again or now, they are still tormenting and punishing the Jewish people wherever they find them. But they, they are the one that wrote that book for you. And the Jewish people themselves, they rejected that thing that you are holding now to twist my brain in terms of miracle and whatever. We did not reject. Hear me, brother. Well, let's be, be honest and speak what we know. Um, we were treating one matter, then you took it to another place. We move. I'm trying to. We move, minute, from, we to move from place to place. Irrelevance. I am trying to one minute. I'm trying to tell you the irrelevance of uh, of Amadio her God and all those gods that you think that are, are, are that we are powerful before our people. Today, what is happening to them? You can move into one shrine that you thought powerful in the past. Only one mention of a name. You just command the name of Jesus Christ, you carry it out and throw it away. Nothing happens. In my place, the same thing. Let me tell so you now, something. Let me tell minute, you something. Minute, Let me tell minute, you something. Minute, you will minute, continue. One minute. One minute. Oh, I know that you will continue. Minute. Okay, continue. So, that's, that's some, I told you earlier that I'm a man that loves power. If what I preach today does not contain power in it, evidence, I will be still in such. Or searching like you. But what I have today contains the kind of power, Ike Karen, that now I have no doubt in me because I have seen, you know, this name do something great. It has done a lot of something, I mean, before my naked eye that has made me to know truly there is no other place you can think of anything. Because assuming that Amadio had gods and those gods that you talk about, they have power. They would not be commonly carried away. They will not be commonly, you know, destroyed by mere mortar. They know when you destroy it, allow Amadio had to fight me. Don't fight me. Take me to your place. Good, let me jump in. Allow Amadio had to fight me. Good, let me jump you in. So, 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 I, here you see. I am not a pastor. Wait, let me see what... Let, let, talking about yes, let, let me jump in. You are trying to dominate, uh, dominate this argument now. Ah, <laughs> 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 you know, here, Zemedejili Kemo Wakori, 
will come to your village and enter any shrine. I will took out any easy more and throw it away. Nothing will happen. But I will I will challenge you on one thing. Take that easy amadua, put fire on it, burn on it. Enter into any Iwabara or even more, even though it's meant by cockroach. Buria, pack air walk on a warrior full of moyo. I challenge you on that. Send any pastor. Tell them to video it. Tell them to video it after burning it. Yes. Yes. Jesus, hear me, brother. You are saying as if you are learning. In so many areas, in so many places. Yes. Those, those, those idols that you talk about have been born and nothing. And what happened? In my, brother, hear me. How if many you are learning, I have seen born are uh, seen. What you are saying is true. I have seen we are pastors born is more born Amara. But when also do that pastor dear come back to that community to rescue the people? Hear me, my brother. Oh my god. I want to just uh, dive into little explanation here. Jesus, Messiah, Christ. The power of mankind today came on earth. He chose only about 12 that walk with him here on earth. What I am trying to tell you is this. That a gift of God varies. God gives men gift here. During the time of mighty prophets, as the scripture recorded, you call them Elijah, Elijah, Jeremiah, Isaiah, and Co. Those men, we are men mortal, but they have something on their inside that other people don't have. Today, many men are also chosen by God, representing heaven as those men of the scripture of the old. And the people that we are not choosing to be in that shoe. If you claim to be in that shoe and do what those what only those men can do by going into a uh, shrine, because you think now that you have believed God, you have accepted Jesus Christ, then now you, you, you decide within yourself to enter inside shrine and destroy. If it's not given to you to be in that shoe, something strange may happen to you. Not that you me? Not that you no, what, no, what I am trying to tell you. <laughs> you have to ask yourself, who am I on earth? Gift of God is given by God alone. Where a man is called to walk in the ministry is being chosen alone by God. You can't choose yourself to be a pastor. But so many people today on earth have chosen themselves to be pastors, prophets, and all that things, I mean, inside the ministry. Because of what? To enrich themselves and to eat. I mean, to, I mean, to, to destroy families and to steal from people. Such people, they can go into shrine because the public are watching them. They can go there and sing a song and do whatsoever and carry the shrine and board. That power will trace them and destroy. But the true servant of Jehovah, who is called to do so, mm -hmm. who represents Elijah today on earth, mm -hmm. can move inside that shrine. Brother, take me to, to your place. I will move inside that shrine if God permit me and, and give me instruction on what I do. I will go into that shrine, bring it out, and burn it. That shrine cannot do anything to the people of God. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you. If you are permitted. If you are permitted, do yes. Do you know, no, do you know that all these Wayo Wayo churches that is in Nigeria today, I can only blame Abacha for it? Do you know why? Nigeria is now the highest church on planet. Everybody, God don't call, God don't feed, and God don't put. It's Abacha's fault. As Buhari mistakenly arrested Namdekalo and Biafra explode from nowhere. That is how Abacha 
close the whole 419 hours for the whole Nigeria. Hungary one killed 419 hours from Mafuluku to Ikeja. And all of them now, you know, say when hungry good person die, the brain will start work. These guys now start renting store, putting bait, clapping hand. Before two days, customer don't they come. Look at Nigeria, they now have church streets. And you want me to understand that your own belief is very different from their own belief. Do you know about CPM in Nigeria? CPM, I was once, once their member from Zoyo, from, 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 Zoyo, from, from Zoyo Ministry. I started from Zoe Ministry for the first time. The time the Zoe Ministry will pray for four or nine hours and the people will pay money. Zoe Ministry, I went to their church. This hand where they thought people they fly, fly. The man knocked me even though give me knock. I know it will shake. To the sense I go to this CPM at the end of the day, after they arrested the man where he carried drugs to Budo Ibo. Before he come back, CPM and co have shared his customers. The same CPM you are, we are talking now, the pastor of CPM that is holding one branch, at the end of the day, they were doing auditing and they said that money was missing. This man nearly died in Nigerian police prison for Ikeja. Um, now, no, no, no. you want to tell me, even, even here, where me day now for Jamo, evil man, open church, tell us, say, God, don't give a vision. Say his own belief and his own miracle and angel is higher than others. Say we must get our church in. for this German. We contribute from our annus. At the end of the day, close to the time we will go by church, the man change say, angel and angel, Gabriel, don't turn the eye, go Nigeria. Say, go, go, go hospital, build school. Now, some of our money disappear, go and break up for investment. <laughs> <laughs> But if you say a gamala, if you say gamala, if you try to tell us say ye can ye bubu, want to turn your head, oh my God, go carry you from me. Say na ya want to act ye bubu, you come here. Ezekiel, you will change your way. Zebdi, I am not here to castigate uh, people that call themselves uh, men of God. But we are not. People who understand uh, the same way you are reading there is true. Hear me, my brother. Hear me, my brother. Um, what I am trying to tell you is this. My mother used to say, Ihonye bute na oda, nyani miye. The race, the, the race that we are running today, serving God is a personal thing. It's not a thing that you do with anybody around you. You will try to get them on board. But if they will become excess luggage, you you just you filter them and just work on your own. I am speaking to you first to hand. Every of my information comes first to hand. Hardship in Nigeria has made a lot of graduates that has no job, you know, enter into ministry. And people so much desire to see power move, power move. Because it was not called it was not given them, or it's not given them, I mean, to do such. Many people that we are called to become teachers, many people that we are called, you know, to be cleaners in the house of God. There are so many, so many uh, duty posts given by God. But this time around, a teacher will find himself teaching very well. Then he will think within himself that it's time now for him to come up and start up a ministry. And uh, they, 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 that is why you see them. Then in their ministry now, you see, their ministry become void of power because you are working in another man's, uh, you know, territory. It's not what we are Jehovah called you to be. Then you become void of power. What before you know what happened, many, many, many of like them, it. then hear me, because of that, you see so many of them seeking for power where there is no power, looking, you know, to be eh, 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 eh. What did he say? Seeking for seeking power. Seeking for power, yes. Okay, so, there, there is... There is there. Hear me, hear me, my brother. Hear me, hear me, my brother. Okay. Seeking for power where there is no power. Some are using feltish power, you know, to perform what they are doing. Some are, some has gone diabolic. Some are cotic. You know, some in, but, in the but, ministry. But the people are healed. Is it also? Hear me. There is the C, 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 I C. I ask you a question now. Yes or no? You know, the Bible in the Revelation calls it and the the oldest, uh, the that old serpent, old serpent, 
means that the enemy has been, you know, is, is also older than you. So everything that is original has fake. Do you, do, you, do you understand me? So whatever that God does as well, enemy, Satan as well, is, is there. He can How replicate. Do you know? How do you know that they but are the I am, a, I am a spirit, human. I am three in one. So I, I, I can get connected in what I know. I am living here, you know, to know what is permitted to me to know by God. What you are trying to say to me history. now, can a I scientist am, man mm -mm, on I am, planet I am not talking about, I am not talking what about you are trying to tell me you are a spirit, you are a human, and you are a what? In one. I am, I, I, I am in the body. <laughs> I am in the body. Hear me, hear me my body. Okay. Uh, as I said, I will not go you know, so deep into explanation because it will take us much time. But what I'm trying to tell you is this. I have been in the ministry for quite a long time uh, that I know so many things. But I, I adhere to my call. God is true. is real. He's all-knowing and all-powerful God. Every man called by God has his own time. And everyone called by God must undergo challenges before arriving into that place of rest. That's what we call wilderness experience. But you can see that so many men today that are into ministry, they, they, you know, they want to arrive there, church court. And that's why you, you, you see many things happening today in the ministry. Lastly, before you talk, I have been offered by our so-called people here in Norway, I am saying it openly to everybody, to become a pastor. I mean, in one of uh, uh, Nigerian churches around. Omega Fire Ministry, I am saying this, the man you know, by Apostle Johnson Suleiman. <clears throat> they contacted me some time ago. They, you know, you know, they have money. They told me, anywhere of your choice in Norway, we can rent, we can buy. So you become a pastor there. But I said no to them. Plus other offers that have come to me. I told them, that I know the, the reason of God bringing me to Norway. I know the reason of my living. And that reason of my living is what I must adhere to. That God brought me to Norway for the white people, for the Norwegians. And I cannot, I cannot betray this. I cannot do it other way. And what holds on this here, man? So I know where I am heading to. But I know who I am. I know what I am doing. I will mistake. not be guilty of this. My brother, it's a Many mistake. people. You made many people, many, hear me, my brother. You made many mistake. people have been guilty. How? You want to send so, out messages to Norwegians. You want to deliver them. You want to give them the word of God. And the church from Africa is, is trying to give you the platform where you will, where we will be pastoring and Norwegians will now come in when they start seeing the reality in you. I am in the, and you rejected am, it. How do you think that they will come to this year room now to take that miracle? I am in the Norwegian church here. I have lived here for a long time, I told you. I work with the Norwegians in their church. You are going Catholic then? If Catholic is not even in Norway, as you say. Norway have their own Norwegian church. What they call it? Norwegian church. You can Google it there. They that have is, their own. That is Catholic. No, it's not. They Catholic has, has, has their own church. But uh, it's not <laughs> the... What, what I'm trying to tell you, you have white-owned churches here. Do you understand me? I am in the land of nowhere, not for my own kind. If I would be in my own, if I would be for my own kind, God will leave me in Africa. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you understand me? So, and I know for 13 years I have been here. I have gotten so many offers from different places to become pastor. Maybe one church somewhere, we are doing something, they invited me. I came there and signed. Because, you know, do you, know how, do you know how to sing a, 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 a good church? Go to the nine, go to the one or two, my brother. Hear me. Yes. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me, my brother. I will sing now for you. Okay. But what I'm going to tell you is this. I went to that uh, occasion. I was invited to a particular church here. Then I went there. Then I handled my microphone just two, two minutes. Every place, you know, became so, you know, so loud, you know, people. Hey. So you, after, after that short meeting, the pastor of the ministry called me. Before I know what happened after that, that encounter, some of our kind, some of our people, 
Igbo among our, some Nigerians because that church is owned by uh, by is owned by uh, Ghanaian. Nigerians took my contact. They called me and said to me, brother, uh, God has told us to finance you. You know, so we can uh, what if God did in the spirit and we, we, would, we, want, we would want you to become our pastor in such a place. So as I just said that, I left their mind and I knew from the angle that we are coming. I told them that their job, ministerial job, you know, thing that we want to stand up overnight and just, you know, venture into. That I know the purpose of God bringing me to the land of Norway. I am not here for black people. I can pray for, for, for them all, but I am not here to lead a ministry. I mean, in the name of hosting black people there, no. I am working with the Norwegian people here, going to their families, working together in the ministries here by white people, going to, you know, meetings. I mean, I, I am always invited, I mean, to minister for this meeting here. So, but, but that, that, that one is for them, but not for my own kind. So, I want to sing a song to you. I will, my, let me choose one. Let me choose one. Um, there is one day, say, Anomni Ruby. Yes. In a puta womb. Yes. Chile can keep away in a puta womb. Momonante Cassia, Noa, Agame, Eke, Noma, Kange, Yagi, Oti, Toma, Kange, Yagia. Abundi so kanga aburugio Iji gosi na iji ukuo Baga rame ye mutine ke ae Kanke toke ni megi Ewo okwa gisi ni ge buru me ibua chuku Okwa gisi ni ga buru nke mo male Alam di Ruge Jehovah Kanke toke na imege Zebdi Anyami rigi gago rogi oche Alo ala yoche, yes Anyami rigi gago rogi Mkwa chuku upe regi Anyami rigi gago rogi oche Na ha Jesus Anyami rigi gago rogi oche Believe me Anya miri giga golo gochile ya. Anya miri giga golo gochile ya. Anya miri giga golo gochile ya. Anya miri giga golo gochile. Umu biya para. Anya miri giga golo gochile. Umu biya para le. Anya miri giga golo gochile. Yes. Yeah, we evangelist Lotachuku Okoli. What I am telling you is this. I would like to cap everything that I have said here up with this. Jehovah is the only true God. He has all powers. I say all, any other small, small gods are nothing but counterfeit. And anybody that they are trust Jehovah with everything that you have in you, you will never be demoted. You will remain strong, Gideba. No matter how the enemy try to destroy your life, because the hand of Jehovah is upon your life, nothing, I said nothing, will hurt you. And advice, you too, my brother. Advice to most people that venture into ministry because they feel there is money and use 
the word of God to deceive other people. Use the word of God to commit crime. The Bible said that God is also a lamb in the name of Jesus, but also a lion. He is a consuming fire. So you should know that what you are playing with is fire. Because you cannot steal with the name of this great and awesome God and go scot free. If you venture into ministry because you want to steal from people, thereby bringing shame to the name of this great God, I am speaking to you. Run away for your life, oh. God is monitoring and taking record of everything that happens on earth. Your time of visitation is coming. As so many now has come. Repent genuinely. Ask God who you are. Where he would want you to walk in. If you don't have job, look for job elsewhere. <laughs> Come out from that pulpit and stop deceiving people. Listen and wait on the time of God. So to do properly what God created you on earth to do. This is my advice to so many people. Because of what people are doing, it makes people to think less of this great God. It makes people to say evil things about this great God, about this loving Father. Mm -hmm. People should not, you know, run away. People should understand that where you have original, you have faith. I am speaking to you. God is the almighty and all-knowing God. Run for your dear life yes, uh... so that you would make heaven. And God also will protect and defend you. This is the word I have for my people this evening. Thank Let you. Let me take you if you still have another thing. Thank you, my Thank brother. You. Um, I would like to use this opportunity to tell my people that uh, our brother evangelist Lotachuku and I, we are not arguing or um, um, fighting on air uh, to disagree. We argue to test each other's faith. You know, um, I am a believer. I am a real Christian. You may think the way I was talking, mentioning things, is to test the faith of so many. But one thing that you should not forget: there is God, the Almighty. Asrege. Yeah. Um yeah, our brother Lotachukuni or Kakambo story. I am also a living witness who is in German for a purpose. To give the German people, not the Africa, the German people, the message and the word. And the two, three miracles that I saw before my naked eyes was in German people's hand. There is power in God's name. So don't joke around with it. So, I may use my time sometime, you know, to be talking to our people mostly but by time i walk by the leading of the lord i want to thank uh carlo anya carlo a good listener you know you yes. are ah, they dying. <laughs> uh, thank you for, for your wonderful uh, uh comments i mean to this uh, wonderful program you know i am very very happy whenever it comes to speaking to our people you know we should be conscious of who we are we should be conscious of this great and awesome God. I am saying this, spending one year and six months in Norwegian prison, deportation camp, without any success was not my own making. It was not the making of anybody. But God told me, son, you are passing with this experience. In that prison, I met so many people that I preached the gospel to. That changed. So my, when my mission ended, he brought me out. Norwegian government has, has money to charter one flight and deport to a person. Too much money. 
which they have done to so, so, so many people. But when God, one with God is majority, I am saying this boldly, not to promote Mutatu Kuokoli. Mutatu Kuokoli is nothing. But this great God, whenever he is with you, no power, I said it open. Romans 13 says every authority, the power that be, we are all instituted by him. So who are the powers that can come against you, child of God? If you truly believe him, truly come to him, truly accept him, he will fight your battle. He will lead you. Because my coming to Norway was not my own invention. I didn't come here because I wanted to come. No. God saved me out of prison. We will say this some other time. And say to me, you are coming to the land of Norway. He brought me here himself. I will not say this until my testimony is complete. Then I will begin open platform with my people to share with you the faithfulness of God. To share with you the power and awesomeness of this great God. But trust him. He is mighty to defend, mighty to protect, mighty to fight your battle, as he has been fighting my battle here in the land of Norway. And I make bold to say, only him decides my life. No authority, hear me, send this video anywhere. No authority can decide for Lutajukuokori. The decision of my life comes from Jesus Christ. No other power has a right over my head because I'm not doing my job. I am doing the job of he that sent me on earth. He owns the whole world. He rules the whole world. If you trust and believe him, you will rule with him. Let me. It takes a to come there. Yes. Thank you. Thank Let, you, my beloved. Yeah, thank you. Let me add something, my brother. You know, you keep on using the word. He sent you, he sent you. And let me put something. God yeah. sent you to Norway. Nothing can uproot you from that place. Once again, many shall try because they don't believe. They will keep on trying. They the tap root that God laid on that territory. No crane can be able to pull it out. They will try, they will fall. They will tell you that they have a system established before you were born. But there are people, when you see them, there will be amendment. Because of you, they will amend a lot of things. God bless you, my brother. Thank you, my beloved brother. Uh, Carlo, thank you very much. I want to sing to this God before I go off. <laughs> you know, I... I am a man that loves always to sing uh, in praises unto the Lord. That is part of my ministry, anyway. So the song I want to sing now is Emery Homerem Ndiasea Megene Narekele. Amen. Amen. Emery Homerem Ndiasea Narekele. Emery Homerem Ndiasea Narekele. He came on way, and when he home him, Jasia Nara Ekeleo. And when he home him, Mumuana Chimochi. And when he home him, Mumuachan and Kerma Buna. And when he home him, Jasia Nara Ekele. He came on way, and when he home him. Ndiasia Nara Ekele. Sorry that my voice is a bit cracky. I've been talking for quite a long time. But I'll be dedicating my time to have a live video with my people where we will sing and praise and worship this great God. It's faithful. I, I have a also. platform. I created that platform. It's God that answered it by fire. Amen. Uh, it's it it very, it's there for a very long time. And, uh, I will need people like you so that we'll be able to promote the word of God through that Very area. Right. You know, people are people are joining the uh, the page, but there is no activity. <laughs> you know, God answered by fire. That's where I believe. Uh, uh, that's my God. So everybody should go and support them now. They can. Everybody support that dream. Back Nam the Kalo up. Protect him. Reject bribery, reject position, reject whatever offer they will offer you. 
you if you are taking any offer from nigerian government you are trying to eat with a serpent that will poison you at the last round river state people that keeps on manipulating the people's their people's brain asare dokobo said it all asare said zik nam daziki we came out for positions river state turned their back ojuku came out for positions river state turned their back and jonathan came out he was backed him till tomorrow that Every day, I was I will tell you during the Afghan war, Igbos killed a lot of river state people. As Ares Dakubo says, show me one family that I involved, and they couldn't show. And as Ares says, it is we, the rivers people, that owes our people the world sorry because of what we did to them. He said, Are you not ashamed of yourself? After you seized their property and they gave them 20 pounds, they came back today. And buy all those property back from you without us or Gaka because of him before. And today you are now changing the history of your people, the history of your children, because of your bitter hatred, envy that you have because of your brother. You want to send your people now that they are originated from Bini and Yoruba. Do River State people eat Amala, a wedu, or Yoruba's food? You keep on cooking a goosey. If I'm traveling back from Africa to Europe, I do go to River State restaurant and demand for native soup and fufu. That is what I will eat. Why am I eating it? I don't eat Yoruba food. I don't eat Hausa food or, 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 or Bili. But I eat the native food of the river because they are my people. They cook like me. I cook like them. God bless you. Dr. Chuku, you are smiling. Do you want to add something? I'm blessing you, my brother. No, I'm always, a, I'm always laughing. I'm always a smiling type, you know. And well, uh, I really thank God because of uh, this wonderful program. We, we have um, tried yes. for having this program on, sensitizing our people, talking to them. But I believe that we still have a lot of things to do. We still have a lot of talk to do. So uh, we'll be bringing it segment by segment, part by part, yes. so that our people will, will have the strength to listen, even when it's uploaded. Uh, so um, I believe we'll get there. Yes. But, um, so that, that, that is what I, I am throwing in. So we should uh, buckle up and create time to always follow our program here, ZMD program. Not the very program, it's our program. God bless you, my brother. I'm um, blessed you too. So, my people, I don't know, are we closing now? We need to close. It's, I think it's how many hours now? <laughs> okay. Um, you know, I started my speech, I, st I started my speech uh, with prayer. And we got to um, close it with prayers. I, I have to just uh, close it a little with short prayer, not much. Mhm. <laughs> Okari legoa ihem jinaka oboku chineke onye nwero kuchuku onweri henile oku chineke a ogazo potage onye nwero kuchuku ihe gadere ya manuwa ihem jinaka Father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, you are the owner of heavens and the earth. You planted man here to enjoy 
for what you have created. Lord, I started this meeting with prayer. And I am now closing it with prayer also. Because I have not power on my own. I depend, Lord, on you. And I know that prayer changes things. And so, Lord, I pray that as many that will follow this program, as many that will listen, Lord, to our deliberations, Lord, this evening, Father, convince them by your power to understand what we have said here today. And let it, Lord, be beneficial, Lord, to them, that they may understand time as the Bible says that the children of Issachar understood the time when to act. Father, that my people may understand that this time is no longer conducive for them to come into the land of Norway until something happens. Father, this I ask you. Hear my prayer. Give us understanding that we may run this race of restoring Biafra kingdom run this race of loving you in the truth and the spirit till the end. Father, this I ask you now, and I pray for everyone watching. Lord, I release your power now in the name of resurrected Jesus to touch them. Let anything that is their problem, Lord, even in their body, in their system, let it not be taken away now because I speak here now. In the name of resurrected Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm blessed with Bless, Zebby, in bless Jesus. you to my brother. In most precious name I have prayed. Amen. 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 Amen, my Thank brother. Uh, amen. 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 And God, you who and I am the by anger, while I can call all your day. Um, I hold the this our brother too long. It's almost getting to three hours, you know. On air, or the easy. Uh, as on your mother, I'm one of my brother, and uh, on your other book of the Bible, on your other book of the book, um, I need to look at the chuckle to put in the door. We don't know more, Biafra, Yagazirun, 